Hi my lovely friends and welcome back to another organization video. My name is Ravina and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I keep myself organized when I am traveling. I think for most women having an organized handbag or purse can work wonders for keeping us on track, keeping us focused and prepared for whatever we are doing or wherever we are going. Usually at this time of the year, my family and I travel to Australia or somewhere around Asia. The point is that wherever you may be headed, you will want to be carrying an organized handbag equipped with everything you need. So choosing a handbag for travel is essentially about getting a good sized bag, which while being roomy is not too bulky. I looked around quite a bit online and in my favorite outlets, but surprisingly, it was at Charles and Keith that I found the perfect bag for my needs. I really love this bag. For traveling, I always favor black bags because they do not get stained and also because it's so easy to pair with most outfits. And I especially like gold hardware on black because that is simply my favorite combination. And this one comes with two styles of attachable or removable straps. This longer strap is adjustable and it's pretty sturdy as it is doubled, which is great because travel handbags do tend to get rather heavy. And this shorter strap behaves a bit like a seal on top for privacy and security reasons. I do like the fact that it is open on top because I can just put my hand in there and get what I want without dealing with the cumbersome flaps. And this frill detail is just so beautiful with a really feminine touch to it. So now let's open this up and see what's inside. There is one big compartment in the bag with a gold zipper and the main compartment has an easy to open and close magnetic button. The most important item in any travel bag is, of course, the travel wallet. When I saw this wallet in Target in Australia a couple of months ago, I fell for it. I actually bought this wallet first and it's what inspired me to create the ultimate travel handbag. It was black, my favorite handbag color, and it had bling. Inside here, I have my cards. I have removed some of my cards for security reasons, of course. And here I have a mirror for quick makeup touch up after a long road trip or a long flight. And in this compartment, I just keep my passport. And here I have space for even more cards, which is perfect because I do carry quite a few cards when I travel. And here I have slots for my local and foreign currency. This zipper keeps everything safe and I honestly think it was an awesome buy for just 10 Aussie dollars. Now the next thing I have here is my notebook. I got this from my local typo outlet, but it matches perfectly with my travel wallet. This notebook is still new, as is the bag, because I'm saving it for our first vacation of this season, which is going to be in October. I always like carrying a notebook so I can jot down my thoughts and feelings as I tour a city. I can slot in cards, tickets, mementos, and even write down my accounts so I can keep track of my, my shopping expenses. So next out is my tech bag. This gold pouch is also from Typo. And as you can see, I'm absolutely committed to this color scheme. In here, I have my earphones, a power bank, and cable to charge my phone on the go. Everything here is easy to access when I need it, and the pouch keeps things like wires contained and neat. Here I have another pouch which I got from the Urban Writer, and this has my stationery. Right now I have only got my pens in here which I use for journaling, and an exacto knife to trim pictures or labels. You can also put in coloring pencils if you like sketching, and other stationery if that's your preference. Of course, if you're traveling by flight, you're gonna to have to remove the exacto knife from your bag and put it in your checked luggage. And again, sticking with my color scheme here, because you definitely want to find pouches with a cohesive palette. But by making all of them unique from each other, you're always ensured that you know exactly what each bag contains without fumbling and rummaging through everything. 
These are my Karen Miller reading glasses and this. Oh yes, I love this. This is a great little travel many pedi set in black and gold that my daughter gave me a few years ago. I highly recommend getting a set like this because it's got everything you need for grooming when you're on the go and you do not need to carry separate tweezers nor a pair of scissors as these are already in here. Again, if you're traveling by plane, you should keep this in your luggage. Next, here is a treasure I picked up from H&M and that is a foldable umbrella. Pretty standard nowadays, but I believe in carrying an umbrella because one never knows when you're going to get caught in a sudden shower. Now this looks really tiny, but when unfolded, it is big enough for my husband and me to huddle under. And again, it has a pouch to keep it contained. And over here, I have my compact digital camera in my bag. You definitely want to have your camera handy to click pictures as you tour, so you can go home and add them to your scrapbook or your photo album. I prefer to keep my phone handy for other reasons when I'm traveling, so I don't like to drain the battery using it for pictures. Which brings me to this large compartment at the back of my bag, where I have all my digital camera accessories. I don't need a separate bag for these, as everything sits conveniently right in here. I have my camera charger, the connector cable for transferring photos, some SD cards and a USB drive. But definitely, if you don't have one of these compartments in your handbag already, put all the accessories in a pouch for easy access. And the last thing I want to share with you is this tiny purse accessory, which I also got from H&M. It's just a coin purse, but in it, I use this little medicine bottle which I bought online. This is just for emergencies, since it's always good to keep an antihistamine or some paracetamol on hand when you're traveling, because you never know when you're going to pick up some bug. And keeping it in here attached to the side of my bag allows me to get to it easily without taking away from any valuable real estate inside the handbag itself. And to go with that, I'm also carrying this beautiful ombre water bottle, which is important for keeping me hydrated. And again, I love that it has gold and black in its combo. Well, that's it. That's all there is in my travel handbag. I hope you've gotten some ideas for your own travel bag. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and do give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. I will be back with another video in a few days and we will get our homes organized one space, one meal at a time. Until then, happy homemaking!